Welcome back everyone. In this video I would like to discuss something more about fuselage. Let's get into it. It is the main structure of an aircraft to which all other components are attached. It has space inside it to accommodate passengers, cargo equipment, controls and other accessories. It contains cockpit where, pilots stay and control the aircraft. There are two types of fuselage they are. 1. Truss type. And. 2. Skin stress type. Truss type. It is made up of beams, struts and bars to resist the loads. Trusses are used in many fields, commonly used in buildings and bridges. The members of truss are straight and are connected only at ends. Also load is applied only at joints. Truss members can take both compression and tensile loads. Here, steel tubes are welded together as members and are generally covered with fabric. This type of fuselage is mostly used in small aircrafts. Skin stress type. It has two classifications. 1. Monocoque structure. And. 2. Semimonocoque structure. Monocoque. Mono, means single and coke, means shell. The name itself says that single body is used. Here, the load is taken by the outer skin of the fuselage. So, the strength of the skin must be high enough to resist the loads. Coming to the shape of the fuselage monocoque structure contains bulkheads, formers and skin. Bulkheads are heavy members of the fuselage. These are used where load is concentrated much. That is, where other parts of the aircraft were joined to fuselage. Formers are used in between bulkheads and skin, to carry primary loads on the fuselage. Semimonocoque structure. This is most widely used structure in this era. To overcome the problems of monocoque structure semimonocoque structure is used. It contains longerons and stringers added to monocoque structure. Longerons are extended members over the frame and are used to support the skin by taking the loads. Stringers are horizontal members used to attach skin with the fuselage. These are lighter in weight than longerons. Both longerons and stringers helps to control the fuselage bending by taking compressive and tensile loads. I hope you have learned something new today. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe Aviation Alphabet for more related videos.